Hi, this is Dr. Frederick uh, with uh, a question about how to work this problem in Module 5 where you take some data and then you uh, figure out the linear trend, the quadratic trend, and the exponential trend. Um, and so we're just going to work through, uh, show you how to do these problems in Excel. Um, I, I don't use PHSTAT and uh, I can't get it to work on my machines. Uh, you can do just about everything you need to do in Excel and, and if there's a little bit of difference in PHSTAT it's probably, it's probably because you're setting up the problem uh, not entirely correctly. But let's look at the data that we have and let's just go through the steps here so that you understand them. and. Uh, So here are our data, and uh, you know we should be able to do something simple. Um, to see how our data look. And uh, so one of the first things is uh, we, we can just look at our data. This is a linear trend. There's no uh, nothing in these data that suggest. Uh, an exponential trend or a quadratic trend or anything. So it's always good just to take a look at at your data. To do our analyses, we certainly do not want to do uh, our analysis with the values of the year. And so the first thing we'll do is we'll make a coded year. And We have our values there. And for our quadratic, we're going to use squared quoted here. So we'll go ahead and make those. We just square these coded values for year. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is an exponential trend, and so we want to predict the exponential trend of the oil reserves. And here we're just going to say equals log 10 of this value. Okay, so now we have our data in the forms that we need them, and we're just going to do some regression analyses. Um, so we'll go up to uh, data. This is just Excel. There's a data analysis, and we'll do a regression. And we want to check that we're using labels. I have that checked. So our x value is our coded year. right here and our uh, y value is our oil uh, reserves which is right here okay I have labels checked and I'm just going to click OK it'll make a new sheet for me and I just want to look at the, the coefficient values here 388.82 let's see if that's what we get here 388.82 and 13.36 that's what we have in both of those places so our intercept is 388 or 389 and our coded year is 13.4 so basically you so say if you want to predict the oil reserves for next year or any year you figure out what the coded value is for the next year would be 20 uh, and so it's 388.8 plus 20 times 13.4 will give you your prediction for next year. Okay, so now let's do the um, 
the um, quadratic and basically for the quadratic you say look I'm gonna add some information to the linear which is the coded value or the, the squared value of X and so to do that we're gonna do data analysis regression and now our prediction our predictors are not just uh, um, coded year but it's the square coded year so we're just going to include both of those you have to identify that we're using both of them this is where mostly people have problem with the quadratic is they don't have their variables next to each other so it's hard to grab them but they got to be next to each other in Excel uh, so you can say go from C1 down to D21 and then it, Excel knows that you're using two variables and it'll consider this the first variable consider this the second variable okay our uh, input our Y uh, criterion is uh, still B so we'll go like this okay and okay so then uh, it looks it looks like the quadratic has no effect at all this is a very tiny value just if you're not clear on what exponential is we'll just reformat that to just decimals okay so you see that value is very very small okay and so let's see what they got here they got the same thing that we got 388.82 13.36 plus zero uh, for the uh, the uh, square value okay let's do the um, exponential value so now we're going to regress uh, with a coded value but our criterion is going to be uh, an exponent form and this is you know the exponent form is very easy, good to use for a lot of reasons um, and it's, the trick is knowing that the values you end up with here are exponents so these are not our intercept and in, 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 uh, slope it's uh, our intercept is this value when the tenth power let's just say equal 10 raised to this value okay and our slope is equal to 10 raised to this value and let's see if that's what we, sh we should have got there. Yeah, 392, 397.32, yeah, okay. And 10.27, right, okay. So, uh, mostly these are problems in setting them up. Uh, Excel is not very clear on how you do multiple regressions. But the way you do multiple regressions in Excel is to set up your uh, predictors, your x values, in order x1, x2, x3, and then grab them all like this, you know. So it says, okay, there's two variables. This one comes first, this one comes second. You know, I mean, if you put x, x2 up here and x1, it is not going to know that that's the second variable. You have to put them in order uh, across the page. Okay, I hope that's helpful to you. If not, uh, let me know. I forget how you turn this off.